in my laboratory at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, um, we focus on developing novel molecular imaging agents that allow high precision cancer imaging. Um, one of the agents that we have been working on are so-called surface enhanced resonance Raman spectroscopy or SIRS nanoparticles. And these are based on the Raman effect and are extremely bright and extremely specific in their signal. And we have developed them in the last five years um, so that they have increased brightness and biocompatibility. We have used them before in many different cancer models such as brain cancers, uh, pancreas cancers, prostate cancers, breast cancers, and so forth via IV injection. Our SIRS nanoparticles are made of a gold core that's shaped like a star. And this core is surrounded by a thin glass shell. The glass shell protects and stabilizes the core. And also we can use the glass shell to attach on it antibodies so that we can target specific molecules in the body. Now, when we uh, illuminate these nanoparticles with a the laser, they produce a very strong and very specific spectral signature. And we can use this. It, it's kind of like a barcode. We can use this to identify and locate these uh, nanoparticles in the body. In our recent work published in ACS Nano, we used two types of these nanoparticles, two different flavors. To do this, instead of injecting the nanoparticles directly in the blood, we just use a wash of the peritoneal cavity to uh, visualize microscopic ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is the deadliest among all gynecologic malignancies, accounting for 12,000 deaths per year in the United States alone. The major reason is that there is no real early detection method and most patients present when the cancer has spread from the ovaries into the entire peritoneal cavity. The major prognostic factor for those patients is a complete resection of all tumor lesions. Ovarian cancer has a very interesting characteristic as it spreads and recurs only within the peritoneal cavity, which is very different from other cancers that spread over the blood to distant organs. A reason for that is believed to be that during initial surgery, microscopic tumor lesions that are not visible to the surgeon remain in situ. We used our SIRS nanoparticles to develop an optical intraoperative imaging technique that can delineate these microscopic lesions and in the future might enable surgeons to detect them. Initially, we tried to image ovarian cancer by using our traditional approach with just a single type of targeted SIRS nanoparticle. However, this did not work because the nanoparticles would get stuck on the surfaces inside the peritoneal cavity and they wouldn't uh, make the two more visible. In order to resolve this issue, we developed this new technique called TASERS. TASER stands for Topically Applied Surface Enhanced Resonant Raman Ratiometric Spectroscopy. And in this technique, we use two different types of nanoparticles one that targets the ovarian cancer and we show that in red and one that is not specific, it doesn't target anything and we show that in blue. We use spectral and mixing techniques to identify and locate these two uh, types of nanoparticles and then we can divide the targeted one versus the untargeted one and get rid of the, all the non-specific signal. In this way, we were able to identify microscopic ovarian cancer. Currently, Surgeons can often not see the true extent of tumors and don't know where to resect and have to resect a lot of healthy tissue in the hopes of catching all of the tumor. Our goal is to give them a precise image in the operating room, where is the tumor, where is healthy tissue, and so they can precisely resect only cancerous tissues.